choppers carried out covert government missions for years. Now the people of one Texas town are out to expose what they call a conspiracy. There was a black helicopter spraying some white powder. It's bizarre. It's like an invasion. What's behind this helicopter <laughs> hell? A Julie lot Andrews of people in the Lone Lee. Star State coming up with a lot of conspiracy theories. Steve Langford reports on the helicopters and health problems that have hit Austin. It's the sound. It sounds just like a tornado. <laughs> they were uh, so loud that they shook the windows. That's how they know they're back. It was huge. You could see the machine gun mounts on them and everything, and they were black. The black helicopters. Nine children all came down sick at the same time. The whole side of my car was just covered with dead gnats. Austin, Texas is a peaceful, laid-back kind of place, just like its favorite son, Willie Nelson. At least it used to be, until the black helicopters arrived. It's bizarre. It's like an invasion. Suddenly, people all over Austin started seeing them, with some saying they'd been harassed and maybe even poisoned by the things. I can confirm black helicopters are swarming all over Texas and the rest of the U.S. harassing uh, citizens, police, anybody that gets in their way. Black helicopters, the strike force of the New World Order. Alex Jones is a popular radio talk show host with Austin's KJFK, and he's been investigating and reporting on the mysterious black helicopter phenomenon for years. It reads like a science fiction novel, but it's really happening. Until recently, the government, the military, and law enforcement had denied the very existence of black helicopters. But now, authorities concede there really are such things. Yes, black helicopters are real. They're here to take care of you. Uh, they're for anti-terrorist training. But Jones and others suspect the black helicopters are the real terrorists. You're talking about uh, SS cavalry right here in America. The sinister-looking unmarked choppers have been reported buzzing homes, following motorists, landing unannounced in schoolyards, and even dropping a mysterious white dust on Austin neighborhoods. See, it smears like paint. Norma Rubel says her car was covered with the stuff after a black helicopter flew over her house. Looked like somebody took a spray painter and sprayed it. City officials examined the mysterious substance and declared it cedar ash from a nearby forest fire. There's no way it looked like cedar ash. And she says nobody can explain what else she found on her car. Thousands of dead gnats. Something killed them. Meanwhile, others who have seen the black helicopters fly over their homes say the dust might have poisoned them. All of my kids and myself all got sick with stomach trouble. And the Hopkins family suspects a government cover-up. I think most people would like to be able to just say, well, our government would never do that. Alex Jones insists it would. They've tested what's been sprayed out of the helicopters. It has salmonella and other type bacteria that you would find in garbage. Jones suspects it's all part of secret government preparations for a possible state of emergency. We see a lot of indicators that the military is preparing for martial law. And Jones is not alone. The government has more control than they need, and. I think that the black helicopters probably have something to do with it. We're in the equivalent of 1936 Germany. Hitler's just now getting his power, and they're getting ready to really clamp down. <laughs>